this is the second edition. I said last year that we're gonna be back. And now we back, we live, we're here. We made it happen again. We're on the wheel of steel. We did it, we did it again. And it was, it was bigger than last year. It was joyous. I thank God. I appreciate what God has done because it could have been worse. God did it again. I did it again. Aweni is the zeal. It's the Aweni is the is the vibe. Aweni brought this to life because it's idols teaches by Aweni. So it's been, I think one, let me say one of the biggest sponsors for Runway on the Street is Idols Teaches by Aweni. Ah, uh, the challenges would have been the sponsors because it's we really we really didn't get sponsors. The sponsorship like they really didn't turn up like we expected. But with the grace of God, Spice turn up, Photo Walk Cape Town turn up, Double Hole turn up, Creative Collision turn up, Adela Cole turn up, and some other few brands just supported a little bit. But the only challenge is the sponsors. If we have better sponsors to like look into these and then support us for the next runway on the street, we can do better. Because if we do this with the few sponsors we have and we make it look this big, we make it look, look this great. Imagine if we have bigger sponsors like Coca-Cola, all those big, you know the sponsors I'm talking about. If we have them, trust me, I will bring it to life. I will do, I can do better than this. Because this is just the tip of the ice ball. And I'm glad we did it better than last year. This is bigger than last year. Hi, I'm Karen from Creative Collisions. I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an indication. Thank you to the whole team for making this possible. Runway on the Streets 2024 has been a great success. Though a little slightly different, but we are so thankful that we were able to do this yet again. I think the concept of showcasing and bringing African up and coming designers together is a great idea to show that Africa has more than what we have to think and actually give. Sometimes we limit ourselves by not doing what we should but this was an ideal opportunity for the young designers to have come out to show what they have to offer. Runway on the Streets 2024 has capped itself, but we're definitely, definitely looking forward to taking this further onto greater heights, possibly starting infiltrating into the different outskirts of Africa too. So that's within the static region, West Africa, East Africa. Get ready, because Runway on the Street is coming your way. The vision for Runway on the Street is that it's not going to only be a once-off, but that there's going to be a continuum because we would like to impact, impart, and definitely show what Africa has to offer. I think that Africa is definitely now ready for what the rest of the world always knew but never ever seen. Hi, Spice TV. Welcome to Runway on the Street. we like to thank everyone for their support today, especially the photo walk people, the models, the designers that showcased here today. So we started Runway on the Street in December 2, 2, 20, 2023. And the first show was in the gardens. And now we're taking it to the castle today, which is like we said, we're gonna do it bigger and better. And we would love to take it to Africa. We would like to get more sponsors involved. So contact us if you're interested in sponsoring us on our next event, which will be summer 2024. It's just cool to see the collaboration of um, all these brands coming together, not just locally, but also the brands from Africa and just everybody coming together and doing this collaborative, creative um, event. Um, shout out to everybody who came out to support us. Um, it's been quite a quite a journey but I feel like we've evolved and hopefully next year or the end of this year we'll do our summer one which will be even bigger and better and in collaboration with a little bit more brands and yeah thanks again for everyone for coming out and to Spice TV for getting all the content and for making the event look good thank you very much
guys, my name is Joel and my brand is Global Impact. Well, um, this is my first time, you know, showcasing my brand, so like, I'm actually kind of impressed. So, I'm proud also. Well, it started basically back in 2018, you know. So like, I was like, I don't want to like, you know, like where other people stuff. So I was just like, let me just like do my own thing. And then I started, that's how I started making my own clothes and stuff. I want them to be comfortable. I want them to feel sexy. I want them to feel good. Like just express yourself through the clothes. Well, Rondo in the streets, uh, it impacts me as well because other people, you know, get to see my work and my target market basically is like young people, um, unisex basically, women and guys can also wear that. And if you guys would like to find my stuff, Instagram, uh, Global Impact. My name is Azola Wolf Billy and the name of my brand is Billy Wolf Limited. I just first want to say uh, a shout out to Yusuf, Idol Stitches as well, um, and as well as Runway on the Streets for giving me this opportunity to showcase a couple of my garments and I think as well the atmosphere was quite a vibe and um, I really appreciate actually being here. Um, my brand uh, is based around me, my inside personality. So also inspired by the Japanese mafia, but introducing um, streetwear as well. So we try to be different in a much more chic uh, way. So my brand is just stemmed from my inside personality. So it's basically showcasing who I am on garments. I want to be remembered for bringing some difference, although that's a cliche thing to do, but I want to bring back the old school um, classic looks, but with a modern twist uh, to this new age that we live in. So that is my thing, everlasting garments that can stand uh, throughout time. My target market, I don't have a specific one, but my target market is the person who wants to look so good and also tailor-made things. It's not a bulk production. So my customer, uh, customer base is anyone who wants a custom fitted, a uh, suit or streetwear brand. That's my customer target. There's no age that limits my brand. I just want to say uh, Runway on the Streets should keep this up uh, and I'm hoping to be showcasing uh, at the next one, but much more a bigger range. Um, and I just want to say congrats to all the designers and everyone who took a part of this show and giving everyone a platform for this. Shout out to everyone. And follow me on Instagram, check my brand out, Billy Wolf Limited. And my personal one is Azola Wolf Billy One. Hi everybody, I'm Jabu Lukele and I enjoyed this show so much. Came to support Yusuf, uh, the main man of this place. Yes, uh, and I'm wearing a Sam Bobo design. Um, actually, what I do for a profession, I'm a lecturer at Selimbosha University and I'm more into chemistry. Yeah, I deal with things in the lab, but I love fashion and it's been great being here. What I like is this is in Debele print and being a proudly South African, you can just see, you know, we're very colorful and I want a full suit, but not uh, being normal, being unusual. And yeah, you pull it off. I mean, you can see the colors are playing along and I look like the red carpet as well. So yeah. <laughs>
I fit in very well. Yeah, shows like this definitely give um, exposure to up and coming, um, you know, artists and designers. So it is quite crucial because we tell the students to go out there try and showcase whatever they've got, their talent, and you can't rely on just doing it by yourself. You need to create a space where uh, people like yourself and a television like yourself can ex give exposure to such people. Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm Anna. And we are here to support Runway in the Streets. I think my favorite outfit was probably the outfit, it was like a crop sort of top with those pants and like the different patterns and colors that match each other very nicely. I really enjoyed meeting a lot of new people and there were a few models that really stood out to me today. I also enjoyed meeting new people and seeing the different styles of clothes and the different themes. Uh, this is Zara actually and Adidas. Um, cotton on, cotton on. <laughs> I think one of my favorite outfits of the day was the pink suit, suit with like a band here. It was really cool. I'm Mashal Ibrahim and my brand name is Mashal Naminema. My God, I love Runway on the street. I love Runway on the street. It's exciting, it's fun. You just watch yourself showcase your designs and I think I love Runway on the street. It's a great opportunity. This season, I decided to launch a collection titled Femi Feminist which is like when it's come when it comes to feminism like anything you think a color that pops in your mind is pink mm -hmm. and with my collection which i shouldn't be like color should be on gender base everybody should be able to wear a color no matter how it is okay my next showcase should should be based on african blackness with colors because I love colors and I always love to express my passion with colors. And it speaks for me. Yeah. Uh, my target market is stylish and fashionable individuals. Somebody that have confidence is the person that will be able to wear my 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 outfit. I think everybody should wear Marshall Naminema. <laughs> Marshall Naminema is their brand. <laughs> the only brand you should wear and it covers everybody no matter who you are you should be able to wear my brand and express yourself and your confidence hey guys this is lucy here i'm one of the organizers of um, the runway on the street you know we put, put up a very wonderful event that combined the conference of africa day and the runway uh, on the street Amazing, the models were great, and we thank you guys for uh, being you know, for being with us and watching us. This is coming back with more strength, guys. First, this is a very tourismically, if I have to put that way, impactful, because it impacts the tourism in not just in you know, the state of Cape Town, but also in the country in general, because this attracts people from all over the places. And that's why 
we decided to do this in the, at the Castle of Good Hope because it's an historical and touristical environment. So tourists from all over the, the, the world can be able to access what we're trying to offer, you know. And uh, this has not just, you know, uh, uh, impact in the tourism, but also in the economy. It has impact, you know, in, uh, in a social and moral life of people because we're trying to communicate something that will bring change. It's all about fashion and fashion is about unity. It's about compromising, you know, whatever could come in our way to make sure that we are happy and we enjoy who we are with our own fashion. We had a very, very good collection of designers that presented, you know, their new uh, a collection of, of, of clothing, you know, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed because they basically brought the modernization in their concept of the African clothing. And that's amazing, guys. Like, I mean, we, we can't just stay in a traditional, right? We want to see something different. It's still Africa, it's still us, it's still our identity. But how do we give that very, you know, click touch that changes everything, you know, not the identity, but at least the way we see our identity, the way we clothe ourselves, the way we, you know, we present ourselves, the way we, we show, you know, uh, 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 our dressing to the world. Yeah, this collection is inspired by Aweni. Why? Because last year I did I did basic. It's really not basic, but it's really not as colorful as it is this time. And um, it's for summer. So the collections were just uh, kind of a normal shorts and um, it's not really see-throughs. But this time it's winter. I did, I showcased this. You know, something bougie, something colorful, something crazy. I did a suit. I lightened it up a little bit, made it made it look glamour but not pompous, and um, people loved it. I'm glad because I just keep thinking, okay, what can I do this time? Because fall winter is not supposed to be boring. Everybody brought out the best, thanks to the thanks to the models too, because 
Without the models, the designers cannot do it. I am a model too, aside from the fact that I'm a designer. So I know this drill. The models really tried, they brought out the best in it and um, I brought out the best in me. I could do better for the next, um, the next runway on the street, but I'm glad what people saw this time was, they was not expecting it and they saw it and they're like, I don't switch you did it again, as usual. I'm born to do it, so that is what I did. Neres future, we coming back bigger. Like I said last year, the summer, I said, we're bringing it next year and it's gonna be bigger because last year was major, now it's bigger. Next year is gonna be biggest on the wheel of steel. Watch out, don't be on the street. Next year or next, that the next one is gonna be the summer or the winter. Just watch out, stay tuned. I'll make it happen again with God's support and great sponsors. Only God can bring the sponsors. I just feel, I wish the sponsors can see what we do and be interested because of course we're trying our best. So it's the grace of God that keeps it going. It is what it is, it's God. The designers tried their best. Like uh, Marshall brought out colorful stuff. He's always colorful, we know him to be that. He tried his best, he brought out his best. I love his designs, you know, I'm a designer, but when you see a designer who does good things, you'll be like, oh my God. And the Global did good thing too. Azola did good things too, they tried. We all just brought out our best. It's not a competition, you know, the, the sky is big enough for beds to fly. You just have, without even touching themselves with the bodies or how is this proverb said. So we all just try to like show what we are made of, what we created. We all tried our best and the, thanks to the model too because they came out, they, 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 they did their best by with opening the show, closing the show, like they all tried. The models are perfect, like they are, they are professionals and they all deliver as I, I wasn't even expecting that because I it's runway on the street, they were supposed to do it randomly, but they did it like it's runway on the street. Let's take the runway to the street. And that was what I expect and that's what happened. I, I thank them, I appreciate them. Thanks to the models, the designers, thanks to the supporters, the crowd, the sponsors and to God and to me. Because if I'm to thank anybody, I thank me. Because it's been me all the way. It's Idol Stitches all the way, by Aweni all the way. So that's it. What else can I say? It's been God, bottom line. Any final word would be, whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. Believe in yourself. It is you. You are, you know, there's this quote that says, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. The light to us. That word made us feel, oh, we can keep pushing. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. We will never see that light. Why? Because we will be focused on looking for that light. But you are the light. Since the day you were born, you are the light. You saw the light. So imagine you're looking for what you've already seen. You will never see it until you realize you are the light. So believe in you. There is no light at the end of the tunnel. You are the light. So if you see the light now, then you are in the end of the tunnel. You've made it in life. You've succeeded. I see myself. I believed in myself. It was not easy, but it's worth it. I did what I had to do. I, I paid my dues and now it's paying off. So why can't you not do? You can do better. So believe in you, that's it, period. It's you, you are the power, you are the light.